After a surgery, patients always want to start to feel like themselves again. They want to know, when can I do my hair? When can I put on makeup? Um, it depends a lot on which surgery that you have done. If it's a body type of a contouring surgery, usually you can do those things pretty quickly afterwards, but just think about the motions that you'd have to do to do those things. Um, reaching up to do your hair, you wouldn't want to strain or stretch, like not get your elbow above your shoulder, if you've had a breast surgery. And with tummy, you, know, you don't want to lift or strain or pull against things in a way that would be uh, too tight for the stitches. Um, the more involved ones though would be facial surgeries. Facelifts and eyelid surgeries, um, it takes a little more time before we can do some of these things. Um, usually with facelifts and blepharoplasties, we can wash our hair probably two days afterwards. We want to have a couple days for the, the incisions to kind of seal and be at least a little water resistant. Um, and then just a short shower with washing hair with a gentle, maybe a baby shampoo is okay. You have to be careful though as you're combing that you're not combing your stitches too. Um, makeup, we want to make sure it doesn't get in contact with the stitches. Now, if we're doing an eyelid surgery, you could probably put a little concealer down low after a couple days, but you don't want to cover those stitches with makeup or else our chances of an infection are quite a bit higher. Um, the stitches for eyelids usually come out at a week and typically a day or two after that, then you can start putting things on a little more normally. Um, the stitches along the side of a facelift mostly come out, the front ones at least, at about a week as well. Um, depending on when they're able to, probably wait a couple days after they're out before you cover that area with any light makeup. And any heavy cakey, pancakey type of makeup, you'd want to avoid for a couple of weeks just because that would be more likely to contaminate along those stitch lines and cause some troubles with healing.